I ask you to what end? Dread it? Run from it? Destiny arrives all the same. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some secrets with you guys. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that have wanted to get the RTX 3080 or maybe even the 3070 and just have had no luck. And today I'm gonna to be sharing a secret with you guys to help make sure you get a hold of the new RX 6000 series cards or if you're still trying to get the RTX 3000s cards. I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can get access to live feedback as to when these cards come available online and be one of the first in line to get one to help make sure you take one home. All right guys, so, so this method that I'm gonna show you guys today should work for the RX 6800, the 6800 XT, should work for the 6900 XT, and it also should work for the uh, all the RTX 3000 series cards. So the 3070, the 3080, the 3090, it should work for all of them. So, but I also wanna let you guys know you will have to use Best Buy to purchase your card with this method because how this is set up, you have to use Best Buy. So let's get into it. So what we're gonna do, go to bestbuy.com and we're gonna search up the card that we're wanting now because the AMD cards are not available just yet at the time of making this video. We're gonna have to use the 3080 for an example. The process is still gonna be the same, but we're just using the 3080 in its place. So you'll go to bestbuy.com, find the card that you're looking for. In this case, we are gonna use the Asus ROG version of the 3080. So we're here We've at this website for it. Make sure that you're seeing the sold out or coming soon, depending on what card you're going after. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and copy the URL. We'll have that for later. So the other website that we're gonna be looking up, we're gonna be using is uptimerobot.com. You'll see it here. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. You'll want to go ahead and register for this. It's free. So register for it, put your information in. You'll have to confirm it through email. And then from there, it should take you to a page or dashboard that looks like this. Once you're here, this is where we're going to get into actually being able to set up the alert. So from the dashboard page, we're actually going to go click my settings. We're at my settings here. So we're gonna go over to the far right. At the top right, you should see add an alert. So we'll go ahead and click that. Now the alert type that we're wanting to do, two different ways of going about this. Now you can choose an email if you want. That wasn't the one I was gonna cover, but just so you know, that is an option. It's not the fastest op option. So I'm gonna show you the fastest ways just to get it to your cell phone or your smartphone. So you can be on top of this as best as possible. So. You can use the Pro SMS, that does cost money, so I don't recommend it. Or you can use the email to SMS, and that's the one I actually recommend. So you'll click that, you'll put in your information here, your whatever name you wanna go by, uh, you'll put in your mobile provider, whichever one applies to you in your country, and then you'll put in your phone number, and then you'll go down to the enable notifications for now you're going to want to do only down events so you'll have that there you'll create that alert now once you do that it should show up as a little phone down in the alert contacts it should have whatever name you gave it and you'll click that and then off to the right here you should see a little edit button and then the next to that you'll have to click that one to activate these alerts so you go ahead and click that and it will send you a code to your phone and you'll need to activate that put in whatever code it sends to your phone click it activate and then it should show you a little pause sign from there so that'll let you know that it's actually active so from there we're going to go over here to the add monitor, add new monitor. So we're going to add new monitor. The monitor type that we're going to use is going to be keyword. So you'll click that and then you'll put in whatever name you want to go along with. Again, 
you'll put that in, then you'll put in your URL that you copied earlier. From there, we're gonna actually go back to Best Buy. Now, for this example, we are using the 30 series, the 3000 series. So the key word that you're gonna be wanting for those at this point in time is going to be sold out. So just to make it clear, you're gonna wanna just hit control F just so you can make sure that you have it spelled correctly and it is what it is and there's only one of them because that's what makes this work. So you'll see that I have sold out highlighted in orange right now. So that is gonna be our keyword. We're gonna go back to the dashboard and our keyword we're gonna put in is gonna be sold out. Now it is case sensitive. So it needs to be exactly what it is. Case sensitive, a capital S and a capital O. So make sure you've got that. Then you're gonna tell it to alert when. Well, you're gonna say alert when the keyword does not exist. So when that goes away, that's when you're gonna want to make sure you get that alert. So from there, this is kind of where it kind of, it depends on how far you want to take this. You know, if you if you do pay some for some of these features, you're gonna have better chances. So that's kind of up to you guys, but it is what it is. I'm just giving you the information. So if you want to change the monitoring interval, if you want it below the five minutes, then you'll have to upgrade. So that depending on what plan you go with, you pay more if you know, whatever you want to spend, it's kind of up to you guys at that point. So you'll choose your model monitor interval. You can always increase it if you want to do that. Just so you guys know, and then you'll select the alert type that you're wanting to actually apply to the alert that you just set up. So you'll click that over here to the right, whichever one you're wanting to do, if you want to do both, more than one, whatever. So just so you guys know, make sure that one's clicked. Then you'll click create monitor. So once you have that clicked, you're gonna go back to the dashboard at the top and you should be able to see that I have mine up for the 3080 right now and it's saying keywords found. So, and if it's actually active and working, you should see it say up. So make sure that's how you do that. Now I do want to give you guys a couple of pro tips here and a little bit more information. Now there used to this used to be a little bit more lenient on the free things. So just so you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna go back to my settings. Now this does give you free 50 free monitors. So sending out those pings and checking checking them out and those are going to be the free ones after 50 they start trying to make you pay so if you do want it to continue to work you'll have to pay for more monitors so what my best suggestion and least expensive to free suggestion would be is to make sure that you if you're planning on using this for the amd cards that you uh wait till the day before these are supposed to come out and set it up to ping on that that day before so you can make sure you're ready to go then so you don't end up running out of pings and monitors so just a little heads up so if you do guys want to upgrade they do have the option to add more monitoring and for 100 more 200 more kind of like I said it's up to you guys it goes as high as you want to pay they did that when people started actually figuring out that they could use it for this and they're taking advantage of it which you know I can't blame them so just some just some FYI's also Best Buy I would 100% get the Best Buy app because the Best Buy app is going to allow you to have the fastest response time once you get that text message most likely you're not going to be sitting at a computer maybe you are i don't know but it's going to be easier to just grab your phone you saw the text message your phone's in your hand already go to the app boom i would get the app just in case 
you don't want to use an app, go to your computer if you're close by, whatever, but I still would make sure I had it handy just in case. Make sure you're signed into it. Make sure all your information's already in there so you can just be spamming right over the sold out or coming soon, whichever one is there. Also, just to reiterate, if I didn't, if you're wanting to get the AMD cards with this method, your keyword is gonna be coming soon and not sold out. Coming soon for the AMD and then sold out for the RX or RTX 30, 3000 series. So I just wanna reiterate, really reiterate that so you guys are aware. That's how you set these up. That's how you can get the best chance and make sure you get these cards when they come out. And you know, maybe it'll be worth paying a little bit of money to some of you guys to make sure you secure some of these cards you know good luck to everybody i uh, think these are going to be great cards guys that's going to do it for the video now if there was something that you were confused about or didn't understand got lost along the way please let me know what it was i don't mind helping i really don't I'm really trying to build something for you guys here and I hope that y'all want to be a part of it. A simple like or a share or a comment or subscribe go tremendously far for the channel. It really helps so much and helps me continue to do this. So if there was something that you guys didn't like or felt like I could have done better, if you want, please feel free to leave a thumbs down. I just ask one thing that you let me know what it was that I did so I can continue to improve. I really believe in continuing to be better and work on yourself and do that. And I, I can't do better if I don't know what it was. So please, if you don't mind, let me know what it was. I hope you can like, I hope you can subscribe. And if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you.